Um, the water yeah. turns pink, and <laughs> Unicorn starts spearing you in the chest. <laughs> now we're near the Feywild. Yep. <laughs> um, it is mostly, unfortunately, you guys can't see too much because it's mostly rock cliffs. Um, ah, those are the cliffs of rock. So aside from using, like, you know, Solus to go up and take a look and stuff, um, you guys don't see much. These You do see these small little... I should have actually done this a little bit. Oh, oh I almost did it again. Hmm. You guys can pink line. very easily... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. I swear I've used Roll20 before. No. <laughs> Doesn't appear that way, but... And actually, yeah, you know, I'll just, I'll be nice. No, it's fine. No, 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 I'm saying I'm going to be nice because... It's easy. Realistically, it's like... Well, I mean... You would, you would, yeah, you'd sail a little bit of the coastline and just kind of see the little cove. Um, the three little islands are just that. They're just sand beach islands with, you know, tropic islands. What are you doing, cat? <laughs> okay. Um, nothing super, like, distinctive that would draw any attention that, you know, anything's different here than on the material plane. Um, but that's just from your line of sight on land, from the sea. Alright. Uh, where do we want to put her on land? Well, we came here to talk to dragons, right? Right. Do you so see... we should probably find the dragons. Do you see any flying around? You see no flora or no no like animals whatsoever, including in the water. I've only seen one dragon Wait, thus far. Here on this island? Not on the island per uh, se. I thought you'd be scouting ahead or something. <laughs> Even rock did that. One. <laughs> I don't know what Kenna does. She could have been scrying to this island while we were boating. <laughs> oh, you need to focus for scrying. Can't scry an entire continent. Why not? Because that would require a ridiculous amount of power. Okay, it's not like you're the god of knowledge or anything. <laughs> so what would you guys like to do? I should do something to get... The attention of the dragons. Uh, I could fire some cannons yeah, after that. Cannons, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that will work for like how far away we are right now, but do you th yeah, uh, do, try. Do you think we could <laughs> launch the cannon fire in Morris Code? <laughs> to clarify, you could be anywhere in this like cove area. Uh, yeah, we should go. We should sail into this like bay. Yeah, that's kind of. I was. I was gonna say like as um. That's I was, like, oh, when promising. I was saying where do you want to dock? I was basically wondering um if it would be here or here because I like I like either of these little al alcoves. Yes. All right <laughs> then. Yes, this one because we're here already. Yeah, I say we we go in like this way and kind of like go along the shoreline, and and just keep an eye out for anything interesting. I will yeah, keep I, an eye out. No, I, I, I assumed you already did that. That's why I highlighted that area. Okay. That's what you've seen by scouting that area. And uh, dragons like mountains, right? So if we see any mountains, that's probably a good thing to... Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, this entire, like, coast is mountain ridge. Oh, okay. That's why it's basically cliffs. As someone who hangs out with a lot of dragons, do I see anything that it's like, hey... Dragon <laughs> club. It's a club it's for dragons. Ball. The simple fact that you don't see any animals has been probably itching at rock and like Pierce, honestly. Because hmm. there's no critters whatsoever. No birds. No, nope, birds. no nothing. Something nothing no. in the water, nothing on the land. Okay. Okay. Once we hit Pain. right here, once we hit wow. right here and start going this way, Rock's gonna pull out his flute and start periodically playing bird calls on his flute. Ah. Just to try and see if there are any birds uh, slightly inland or something. Hold on. And Rock has a flute? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's had a musical instrument forever. Yeah, he's proficient in flute. He's mm -hmm. got a flute. 
I got on into this. Yeah. I, he's he's busted out before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember huh. this. I, I kind of I, I kind of reacted the same way you are. <laughs> like what? Okay. You have a flute? I, I mean that's a, a classic thing. instrument for communicating with wildlife. Come on. I figured yeah. it'd be a big bass drum or something. <laughs> that's just unwieldy to carry around. That'll scare everything away. Pull out a drum set. Yeah. <laughs> boom. 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 <laughs> Your undead start pulling out like bone guitars and stuff. <laughs> All right, everyone, do uh, the fucking. Don't went down to Georgia on three. <laughs> uh, but no, nothing comes. Yeah, well, he's still gonna do it. Yeah. Yep, but I'm just letting you know. A, it's probably gonna get on the rest of the crew's nerves. Not really. Everybody else on the ship. <laughs> Solus will polymorph into a seagull uh, out of sight of rock and <laughs> and fly up and to him. And pretend to be a seagull. How good is the polymorph? Because yeah, I have a, I mean, it's a physical transformation. It's a physical transformation. Okay. So it's good. <laughs> okay, then I guess Rock is happy to see a seagull. We're confused <laughs> you know, that there's only one of them. I have a question. Does polymorph change his type? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. I need him to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, this is interesting. This is... Cr I never would have thought this would happen. This is <laughs> insane. Oh, man. Alright, let's see here. Uh, okay, so he got a, uh, a three. Okay. Oh, no. The seagull goes poof. That's excellent. Uh, so he takes 12 necrotic damage every round. Okay, so he becomes <clears throat> solace again. So Because once this, he loses the seagull health, he reverts. Yep. So he just goes like in feathers and is like, ow! Hell! <laughs> <laughs> really? That was not nice, even for you. It was a joke! Why did you even have to hurt me? <laughs> I <hate> you. <laughs> well, something did. Oh, what me? I would never hurt an animal unless I was going to eat it. And even then, I'm I, I'm very humane in my killing. Exactly. Um, yeah, it would have been a hammer. Just kind of look Pulls around. Um, Can I turn into a bat and fly? So <laughs> it was just fucking with rock. That is very interesting, though. If hold on, do you see that though? Like, would you react? To that? <laughs> yeah, I probably wouldn't be. Yeah, that, that, that's more of what I was thinking. I was just, I was debating. Because you didn't see that effect yeah. per se, like so from Solus's point of view, he just felt his body decaying extremely fast. Yeah, and so I, I, sharing notes with Solus briefly, uh, <laughs> kind of says, uh, so because of the spell Solus used, he was perceived as an animal. I think that means that there's something. Some very powerful effect that is oh, killing. Oh fuck! He's a, he, wait, he's a dragon too, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's still taking that damage. Oh, he is. Like, yep. Always. Okay. Well, yeah, actually, I, I actually I fucked this up. He's actually dead already. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, if if he was taking continuous damage, I would just de summon him. Yeah, I forgot about that. He would have already been doing that, and I should have noticed that. I forgot about him altogether. So the moment he came out of your bag of holding at any point in time, he was that already taking happen. damage. Yep. Rough. So oh. that would have been a point of discussion. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, so, that, that's my bad. What's wrong with Solus? Holy shit. <laughs> something is killing dragons and animals here. Is it anything living? I mean, obviously not us, but... Just, just necrotic animals. damage? Do, does Detect Magic reveal anything? Uh, no. Hey, Pierce, what kind of fucked up spell just Super. kills animals, you weirdo? <laughs> list, list off like 400 spells. Just like, a lot. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Hang Why? On. What did animals ever do to mages, you fuckers? Alright, Rock, uh... Humans are animals. What? Rock is Humans noticeably are straining. And he goes, guys, does that mean there are no dragons here? Or they're in hiding from the spell. They're keeping them... If, secluded or something. 
If there are, then they aren't here. They're either dead or they have some way of protecting themselves and their homes and they're staying. That's what I mean. Like they've they've basically put them under house arrest if they're here. Pause you guys there for a second, just so that way. <laughs> this is a great discussion. I love this discussion. You guys are right on the money. It'd be right about now that all of you would start to realize that you have seen very, very few dragons on Alicia. Oh, in Sense. general? Or, yeah. Because the only ones that you've really seen are the ones that stayed behind after the war. Since this island reappeared, you haven't seen any new dragons popping up at all. Hmm. And this would be something you guys would probably all realize kind of now. Huh. If you haven't already been thinking of it. <clears throat> <clears throat> but I mean... <clears throat> This couldn't reach across all of Alicia, could it? Because then all the animals would be dead. No. All right. I assume this specific effect is uh, unique to this part of the material plane. All but right. I think we should definitely... Stopping them from getting to Alicia, though. Ah. Uh, or the mainland, anyway. We need to figure out what's causing this and stop it. Mm, indeed. Is it? I look. I, I guess I would look over at. Um, God, I can't even remember Arisa's body and see if it's on acid. Uh, no, she seems fine. Okay, <clears throat> so it's not yeah necrotting to nothing. No, she's fine. Okay, she's normal. Well, I mean, you know, it's a corpse, but. <laughs> no, no, she's not dead. Oh, she's just a coma. Yeah. Coma. But so the oh okay so the body isn't isn't dead it's no 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 not at all okay <clears throat> she's technically for all practical purposes stable gotcha okay well then even more so I, I would even more so be concerned than that her coma body isn't being <laughs> destroyed so good good doesn't seem to affect humanoids or vampires or fey creatures well I wouldn't count us as that's true. We might be an exemption. It might. That's, well, that's why I looked at at a mortal. I'll, I'll summon. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll summon one of my starlings to see if they're adversely affected. So, a fire starling gets necrotic damage, and it just a says, creature. You piece of shit. <laughs> Why'd you summon me here? Well, well I'm gonna turn into a bat. Fly up the ridge. See if I can see anything. Yeah, I mean, being immune to necrotic damage, it doesn't affect you in any way, shape, or form. Yep. So, the bat pierce seems to have no problem flying up there. I feel nothing. <laughs> well, that's always. Yeah. You always that's feel old, nothing. It's always just a bitch. It's always a wound. Does the... Does it affect the... Starling? The Starlings? No. Because okay. they're fey, right? Yep. No, they're fine. Well, that one off the list, and it doesn't really tell us that much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On the bird side, he can, he can actually give some insight into viewpoint, though. That does allow him to fly up and look. Um, and actually, with you flying, you can reveal some more of the map. Actually, you can reveal probably the most important part of the map in all reality, which is the in the center of the island. There is a mountain range with hey. a magnificent tower in the center of it which you guys well some of you kenna and rock has been here before the spire of creation oh uh, yep that's where we gotta go yep so you guys chose a good direction to go to nice <laughs> f that temple there's a big ass tower and a bunch of mountains yeah i mean just think it's just a mountain range you gotta cross over i'm so <laughs> glad we, we, you know we could be in that temple right now <laughs> i'm so glad we're not hmm yeah, I just think you just gotta tra travel across like 140 miles of mountain range. That's ah, fine. That's nothing. You can fly, right? If you're traveling with rock, okay. the literal <laughs> god of nature, yeah. I should be fine. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're, we're good. So, are you guys going to dock and head up on shore, or what's the plan? Uh, just yeah. I'll just tell fucking Smith, Smithy, and Smiths to keep an eye out for fucking uh, hunters and krakens and such. <laughs> yes, cause they they can totally <laughs> deal with that situation uh, if they're ropes. Well, no, if if any if anything happens, just fire off some cannons and we'll be back as quick as we can. 
And they're like, they're like you actually hear them over, to, like, you overhear them talking. They're like, wow, that's better than normal. <laughs> One of the better situations we've been in. <laughs> He's going to come help us. Well, I'm going to come save the ship. Yeah. <laughs> it's stop. Do you interrupt their, con- their, like, their hidden conversation to say that? Yeah. <laughs> you got to make like- sure they know. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, oh, just, I mean, just in case you think I'm, I'm worrying about you, it's the ship. Just had to make sure you know. See ya. One of them's Jeez. like, ah, oh, I win the bet. Give me four or five gold. I don't have gold. No, the fuck it doesn't pay us. Doesn't pay us. <laughs> Jacobs, can you feel if the dread pool is damaged or anything? I can I. Do I have a link to it? No, not nothing like that. No. Okay, I should get that. I'm trying to. Because we don't, definitely don't want to come back to uh, Driftwood. Well, we'll we'll hear some cannon fire. I, mean, I, I do want to point out that while we're... Miles, we're, we're not going to hear cannon fire. We'll hear cannon fire! <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the couple things I do want to point out is, one, that his crew, like, while we like to joke about it, they are actually a very elite crew. Yeah. Like, they're actually one of the best crews probably in existence. That's actually part of where the Dreadpool speed comes from. So if there was a crew that could deal with anything, it'd be them. Otherwise, um, do you are there any spells? I mean, you guys have presumably you're, you can cast ninth level spells. One of you guys have wish. Yeah. Just cast an empathic link to the ship to Jacobs. Well, I mean, I yeah, I could do that, but that's a hell of a, it's a wish. Yeah, yeah. Uh it'll be fine. The crew is badass and if so they're fucking dead i don't care well, <laughs> they hear the first part of it and they get super pumped and then you finish and they just go back to, do, go back to work <laughs> pierce will just resurrect me some more <laughs> i wonder I think this is... what about a rhesus body yeah what are you gonna do with the rhesus mm. will she be fine in the cabin <laughs> I mean, there's like Jacob's cabin. You put her in there. Yeah, yeah, but then if the ship goes down, <laughs> there goes all but, parts of her. We might not want to carry her through. Uh, no, I know. I'm not. Th- I I know that too. Does the dread pool weigh ten pounds or less? <laughs> I think it could if it was flying. <laughs> exactly what I was just about to say. That is the best thing ever because it's actually weightless when it's not. Yeah. <laughs> So normally, yes. Right now, no. Right now, it's a few um, fucking hundred tons. Right now, no, I don't know. More like twelve pounds. <laughs> <clears throat> no, that's fine. She can go in the cabin. And uh, put like a life jacket over. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> a piece of <clears throat> like yeah, just put like a rowboat in your cabin and put her in the rowboat. There you go. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Now, if anything happens, uh, this uh, uh, this young woman is the sole uh, priority of what to save on this on this ship. The second is the ship, and I don't even mention them. Yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> um, third is all of your items. Yeah, <laughs> all of them. It's my shit. If you lose even one, yeah, the third is all my shit in my cabin. Um, question. So, are you gonna dock right where I kind of put your ship, or where do you guys want to actually be docked at? I guess. So, like in that for that one, I would like kind of want to be down in that little cove. So you guys are gonna you're gonna go down here and like officially dock mm-hmm. down there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So I'm going to just reveal this. Because... Pass. Get your badass down here. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm a badass? No, bat. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> <laughs> the ship's leaving. <laughs> That's actually an excellent anchor point, and actually kind of gets you probably the most direct route to the tower. Yeah, it's so just, it, it looked choice. it looked good. Yep. Um, it is actually a very pleasant and. Actually, very wonderful trek, actually. It's very beautiful terrain. It's pretty much all mountainous in some form. 
um, where it's not directly mountainous. It's more like a plain or plateau on a mountain range. So you're pretty much always highly elevated. Um, not going to do the whole elevation sickness thing because that would get really tiring. And because you guys would probably be immune to it anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, as a... Just to be clear, I'm not climbing. I'm I'm flying on a broom. And I'm, oh, yeah. and I'm uh, grappling hooking. And I would like to point out that outside of walking through the hellscape <laughs> that was the trek to the Tower of Time, this is the most depressed and, like, upset you guys have seen Rock. Oh. <laughs> I suppose. It's it... a beautiful landscape, but there are no animals. <laughs> but it's it empty. Is, it is almost worse than hell. Because it's like this, all this great habitat that they don't get to use. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, the one thing I do want to point out is that rock, you definitely see like tons and tons of like um, animal trails and places where there would be dens and stuff. You see tons of them. Exactly. Like it is like agony for him. It's an it's an animal apocalypse. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> that being said. <laughs> At some point during our trek, I'll sort of like fly. Or how are how are you traversing? Rock. Okay. Walk. <laughs> yep, of course he's doing the rock walk. I eat probably. You can like jump twenty feet or whatever. Yeah. So oh. at some point, I'll kind of fly down near you and just say, uh, "Don't worry, we'll we'll fix this problem." I'm sure we will. I uh. I, I know that this is within our capabilities of putting right. I feel uh, maybe a uh, at least a percent as bad as you in this instance with <laughs> my uh, lack of connection to Solus. I really would do not like going so long without his presence in my mind. So, uh, I think Rock is going to start playing his flute while walking, because why not? Uh, and he's going to try and, like, cheer himself up and play something of a beat, but... I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take a, a mandolin out of my bag and join you. So we're just like a bunch of... Have you seen, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you have, Avatar The Last Airbender? Oh, yeah. Right, the, secret the hippies tunnel. who are walking. Yeah, secret, secret tunnel. tunnel. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Like that's what I've got in my mind. Perfect. Yeah. I'll, I I hear you bust out your flute and I'll. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. And get my get my I have that bag and get out a mandolin. It's uh fucking solid gold and everything and <laughs> no, it's not because that'd be heavy. <laughs> gold strings. It has gold strings. Yeah, I might have to mute myself here for a second if this gets really loud. Can you guys hear that? No. The secret oh. tunnel? <laughs> Can't hear it. No. Nope. Okay. Well, <laughs> I like how the speakers won't, like, I don't have it loud enough or it's not loud enough to where I can hear oh, it on the uh, microphone. You probably have, like, yeah, the noise suppression so it won't do it. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Damn good headset. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, that's what Rock's doing and walking, but... Ooh, I got a nat 20 on my perform. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right, here, let's see how bad Rock does to accompany you. Because this is probably awful. I never said he was a good player, he just plays. He just likes to play. Oh, I got a 21. Booyah. Nice. We're doing really well. <laughs> We should we should oh, maybe start a band. Yeah. Give us this whole being a god thing. Fuck yeah, god band. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we'll call it. So your trip is quite easy. Um, depressing maybe just because of the lonely walk, but otherwise very pleasant and very otherworldly. Actually, in all honesty, Kenna, you probably are loving this. This is very much like traveling some of the outer planes, mm. where because like the the landscape here is very 
um, unlike the Alicia mainland, it's not just, you know, generic, you know, grasslands and trees and stuff like that. It's very, there's like floating islands. Oh, okay. There is, you know, the, the waterfalls that kind of just come from nowhere out of the sky. It is very enchanted in nature. Um, someone like Rock is probably a little annoyed at that. <laughs> um, but in general, it's a very otherworldly continent. Um, the mountain range surrounding the Spire of Creation is almost like a fortress. Um, from your side trying to get to it, it's actually very difficult to find a pathway that actually leads to the tower. Um, you guys actually have to take an extremely narrow pass that forces you guys to go single file for several miles. Um, so aside from flying or other versions, you guys are going single file through these areas. Um, and to go single file, you'd or to fly, you'd have to go way, way, probably out of sight to actually do so. So, not exactly comfortable. Like, uh, like narrow canyons? And it's not even really a canyon, but yeah, that's the closest example. It's more of just like, imagine if there was just like a crack in the mountainside that you could pass through, and that's pretty much your choice of area to go. Because there's no actual natural pathways from these outer mountains to the inside that's designed for dragons to fly over and no one else. And these are entire mountains, so you could technically fly on like your broom, for instance, over it. It's just, it's flying at a slow broom speed over an entire mountain. <laughs> so. But you guys make it uneventfully, um, aside from a little bit of discomfort in that area. Um, the spire itself. This is what if I'm you got. Uh, I've got the play. I've got the, I've got this music going uh, for the recording while we're while we're uh, walking through and playing. <laughs> that's not bad. I'll show you what you guys should be playing right now, though. Actually, that's a good idea. I didn't even think about linking that. Oops. Spire itself, um, it is a very, very, very finely crafted tower. It's massive in size. Like, I, I want you guys to look like this isn't perfectly to scale, but it is quite large. Um, it's not the, the, the actual size upwards is tens, if not hundreds of miles tall, technically. Um, it is a spire that was built by thousands of dragons at the dawn of, essentially, humankind in terms of um, events. It was created right around the same time as the Tower of Time. Um, it is all stone or metal all the way up. <clears throat> and essentially what this building is, it is the housing location for the Dragon Corps. So there's supposed to be thousands of dragons that live in here so it's designed for their size their full scale i wonder if they're in there and they just can't come out <clears throat> uh well so we'll see yeah the the cool thing to know is that so there is exactly you know one entrance made for non-dragons which is at the very base of the tower it's still a dragon sized door so it's a hundred foot wide by a hundred foot tall <laughs> door um, <laughs> That's a one size it, fits all kind of door. The door, it's a you know, it's a double door. One side is actually open. Huh. Dang, Wait, Rock was gonna show off and open the doors. <laughs> <laughs> well you can still open the other one. The other door, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that then. <laughs> <laughs> Just to show off you do it. Show. Yeah, absolutely show off. Perfect. Um so it is extremely noisy. Um It's okay. Yep, just just it's a it's a, it's literally a stone scraping again. Actually, it's metal, so metal scraping against stone mostly. Um, you are definitely not sure why it makes that noise, but then once you open it, you realize that it's because it's supposed to be open from a machine mechanism on the inside. 
Oh well, fuck that thing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you just, you probably you probably just broke the mechanism, but you know that's not your problem. They'll fix it. Yep. They, they can cast mending. It'll be fine. Exactly. Um. So the the best way I can describe the inside of the tower because we don't have to go into too specific because the the summary is there's nothing in here. You guys can search all you want. There is nothing. Um, the entire spire of creation is built like the Colosseum in Rome, where it's a center stage area and then basically seats on the outer rim. And every layer of the um, spire of creation is like that. So it may go up, you know, several hundred feet before there's a new floor that's just like that. And it's over and over because it's basically just big council rooms. That's the vast majority of what this place is, is it is a meeting place for the Dragon Corps. It's not a place where they live or anything like that. Um, there are several floors that the stairway that you guys have to take, which is designed, again, for the non-dragons, but still sized for them. Um, the stairway actually passes several floors, and you guys would be able to figure this out just by the sheer amount of space that it takes up and how far you travel upwards before you get to a new floor. Um, people that are, you know, I mean, you guys probably have enough worldly experience where you could guess that you could probably only get to those other rooms by flying from the outside. And you also know that the dragons love their portals, so they could just be accessed through demi-plane portals. Mm-hmm. Um, but in terms of what you guys can actually discover, it's empty in here. Damn. Couldn't like, no, no sign of there anything is... existing? No. Um, the only question I really have for you is how thorough would you be in investigating this place? Like, would you guys go all the way up to the top, which would take days? Well, even when I mean, it's going once... straight to the top? Yeah, once the first couple levels are... Uh, unsatisfactory. We could just skip right to the top. And just check it out. Like, yeah. You do know that the top is magically sealed away from the outside, so you can't just fly around if that's what you're thinking. But fly no, around. No, like, just go... Why is, is, why is the top not accessible? What's that? Why is the top not accessible? It's magically sealed off from the outside. You have to... To get to the top floor, you have to go through the stairway. Isn't the middle hollow? No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm I'm not explaining this well enough, I guess. Um, imagine if you took like a bunch of discs and stacked them on top of each other. And each disc is like a coliseum stacked on top of another coliseum. Oh, okay, so there is a ceiling on each there floor. There is, on every floor, yep. And there's just a, a stairway on the outer perimeter that goes around the entire thing. Okay. It's not a stairway, it's a big ramp. Which is inside of the Inside, wall. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yep. Sorry, did that clear it up a bit? I'm yeah. sorry. What if we go to the top and then teleport inside? It doesn't work. You can't, like, yeah, it just wouldn't work. It's blocked from that. How do they, they do they walk up these stairs the entire way? You no, know, dragons can pass through. Oh, Ooh, okay. Get Solus to do it. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. He's not dead. I could summon him if we went up there. No, I mean, the, the reason why I'm saying it like this is because, Kenny, you already know this information. We did this last time. You were, it was explained to you before. Oh, okay. That only dragons have access to the full tower and its capabilities. Anything other than a dragon has to walk up this platform, all the way, this ramp, all the way up. You can oh. technically go to the top. You just have to go that you route. Have to, you have to do the protocol. Yes, because that's <laughs> what it's all about is protocols. Rock would be taking stairs two and three at a time. Once no, no, it, it's a big ramp. Level. It's not actually stairs. So it's just running. Yeah. Yeah. Then Rock would, after the first couple of floors were barren, he's getting to the point where he's searching for signs of life. <coughs> because we don't really count as alive. Mm-hmm. Like. <laughs> Undead. I'm searching for signs of death. <laughs> um. So are you guys gonna go all the way to the top? Like I said, it'll take a while, as the thing is very, very tall. But you guys absolutely can without needing nourishment. Just run to the top if you guys would like. It's up to you. Yeah. 
it's Rock, just the time. It's just the time frame that you lose. Basically, it's it. Rock's gonna do it with or without you. Yeah. Like, Ryan, Man, we don't uh, have much son else. Son of a bitch! All right, now we got a race. Yeah, deal. Because <laughs> like, if you're going, I'm going. You but, may have me in speed, but I've got you in endurance. Yeah. You guys, you guys don't tire. Dark in the walls, right? What's that? It's dark in the walls, right? No. Oh, uh, you were just gonna fucking <laughs> poof all the way or fly all the way. <laughs> yeah, just shadow, just shadow step all the way up. Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm, yeah, whatever you have that does thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, 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 I'm gonna I'm just wait there all the way at the top and then teleports to you. <laughs> there you go. That'll work because then we can teleport back down, right? No, because teleporting doesn't actually work in here. Oh. <laughs> Wait, doesn't work. Damn it. <laughs> All no. Right. So, because you guys are non dragons, your magic doesn't actually work in here. So, no form of magic works. Oh, the grapple hook doesn't work? Nope. Alright, so. So, we nope. just. So, we just run then. Okay. Um, like I said, it takes about a week for you guys to get to the top. Oh, my God. Oh. Yep. The, o- the only thing that I like, obviously, we don't care like about time, but it's leaving the dread pool there for so long is all I care about. Like that's a lot of time for something to go wrong. Didn't say that. Very committed. <laughs> oh yeah, we're um, we're going. I'm just saying. After, after day one, yeah, you're gonna make it. He says this on day like three. So he's like, no magic works at all in here. Unless if it is dragon crafted or cast from a dragon. It is it like equivalent to an anti magic field? Because that doesn't work on gods. It's stronger than that. Okay, it, so they have an anti magic field that works on gods. Yes, over it their is. Entire a hundred foot tall tower. It is because this was this entire tower was designed from beings that are more powerful than the original greater deities. If you remember the Dragon Core. Mm-hmm. Okay. To Rough. put that into equivalence, just so you guys understand, the dragons of the Dragon Core that led the Dragon Core, one of them could take on like Havocor by himself. For an ex- to, for an example for you guys, <clears throat> they have dozens, if not hundreds, of dragon power within them over the generations. The Dragon Core was the basically the mo- one of the most powerful forces in the universe aside from Eos. Well, something must really fuck them up, then. Yes. Oh. Yeah, holy shit. If this, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> they couldn't... Maybe we should just leave. I mean, yeah, if they were that badass and... They got fucking wrecked. What the hell are we doing? <laughs> we're cooler. Better. Uh... Investi- investigating. <laughs> you have plot armor. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, this is something that, like, I actually, like, Kenna would definitely know. Like, you, she knows how powerful the Dragon Core was. Like, the thing is, like, the average dragon is, you know, just the average dragon, but the leaders of the Dragon Core were in and of themselves just as powerful as the greater deities. They just weren't divine. That's the only separating category. <clears throat> they didn't have the asterisk of divine. Their raw power was just as powerful as any of the greater deities and then some. Mm-hmm. So, rough. But yes. Oh. Um, but yes, your if you have like your godly powers, those work. It's just spells, specifically spells or spellic abilities. But not the artifacts. What's that? But not the artifacts. Correct. They are divine, so they are like your actual. Artifacts like the true art. Well, yeah, yeah, your artifacts like your gun that that works. Sorry, <coughs> to clarify. Yeah, oh yeah, your tele- yeah your telehook is actually the artifact, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, that works. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I just want to make sure. I, I, I still think of your telehook is just a magic item, like right. a generic magic item. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a fucking like sixty thousand dollar magic item. <laughs> well, back when in, in Pathfinder. Then could we try and teleport to the top with the? Uh... The lexicon of worlds? No, because teleportation in Eight. itself does not work here. Okay. There is no teleportation that works well, so here. So then the teleport hook doesn't work? 
Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. So yes, yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> so the, if the I, artifact works, but not for its purpose. Yes. <laughs> it, it works, though, but also it doesn't work. Yeah, because it's the teleport feature. Well, so I can at least so teleport save away. us from not uh, having to walk up these stairs. Then, if our powers work, by uh, channeling the um, uh, the element or the the outer plane of Mechanist to give us mechanical golden wings to fly up here, sixty foot fly speed. That's cool. All right, I'm still racing. Actually, right? it'll it'll alternate between several outer planes because I'd have to do it like constantly. I'm still racing, you rock. You think you can fly better than me? You big bulky motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. I don't I care if you. He's gonna like grab. If you get ahead of him, Rock's gonna like grab your ankle and like pull up you to get ahead of you. Oh, that's fine. You, I have way more of that tactic than you. I will fucking like just ride your fucking head until the end, and then just launch off of you right at the end. You guys make it to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Who won? Yeah. Um, you know what? It's like one of those like photo finishes where it's like you guys both jump through the finish line at the same time. You just to rob both of you of the win. Yeah. <laughs> Just the same. Uh, you know, I'm rolling dice. All right, who wants to call it high or low? For what? Oh, go ahead. Uh, I'll call high. Ooh. What do you say? He said he's taking high. All right, that's when you get 69. You win. You dirty fucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you you were better at the the grapple on the way up. Yeah. So now we're one and one. Yep. You grab your leg right at the finish line. <laughs> yep. We, we were doing it the whole way up, slamming each other's faces into the fucking ground. And... <laughs> Me and Pierce just kind of flying behind like, uh, <laughs> children. Yeah, because you all have the same fly speed, so you're just as fast as them. Yeah. <laughs> They're way more dramatic about it. Mm -hmm. The only the only reason it's a race is because we're hindering each other. No, that's actually what happens. Actually, Kenna and like Pierce win because oh, yeah. you guys are down way too much. But they weren't racing, so it does, yeah, it doesn't count. Spectators yeah. can't win. Exactly. And like like fake as Rocky even like tries to bring that up, like, well actually you got fourth. No, they weren't racing. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Um, so within the entire tower, the only thing that you guys find is on the very top floor, which is the Grand Council Chamber, which is similar to the rest of the chambers, except for the only difference is that instead of it being a massive like, coliseum type thing, it's actually just designed for five massive dragons to sit at. So it's just like five big ass platforms. And then like a pillar in the center where like people could stand to address the council. Um, you guys were here once before, actually. This is where you guys actually went to get like orders from the Dragon Corps, if you guys remember. I was going to say, isn't this where I met, uh, what's her name, the pink one, the male? Yes. Star? Yep. Yes. Uh, okay. Tiaval Alwyn, actually. Still have one of her scales. Yes, I was actually going to ask oh, that, wow. actually. Did Kenna uh, bother to bring that? Uh, it's in my chest uh, on the ethereal plane. Okay. Good to know. Um, I was curious about that, actually. But, yep. Um, <laughs> good. Um, but on the center platform, um, where you would address the, the council, there is a what is an obviously magically created um, pedestal with a piece of parchment on the top of it. it says gone fishing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Out for smokes. Uh, the 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 piece of parchment is definitely resting on top of something, like there's an item underneath it, but I don't imagine any of you are just gonna start picking things up yet. Um uh, but you could read the parch the piece of parchment from where you're sitting if you would like without uh, I grab the parchment. You grab the No, don't Oh. Good to know. So you grab the parchment. Well, hold on. Can it, can it stop me? 
I don't think Kenna is anywhere near quick enough to stop Jacobs. All right. <laughs> Did that pop up for you guys? I yep. might have hit the wrong thing. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. I read it all like the sands of time have come calling. The eternal beasts of this land owe a debt. They cannot repay. Blah da blah da blah. Time has come for their reign of terror, of treachery to end. No more shall these played lands mean meant for mortals. No more shall the eternals use the mortal creatures of the travelers possible. Who? What the hell does this mean? And I hand it to Kenna. So <laughs> now the rest of you, while he's reading this aloud, you see a a key resting on the pedestal. The shaft and the the teeth of the key is made of obsidian, and there's a delicate handle made of dragon bone you could surmise um and it has a kind of a faint purplish glow to it like there's no actual glow but there seems to be a light around it almost like something's casting light on the key rather than the key giving off light interesting now, that being said, uh, Jacobs, give me a wisdom saving throw. All right. <laughs> uh, oh, cock die. <laughs> okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, 24. All right. Sounds good. And then, um, actually, I, I do, I, I think Jacobs is smart enough. He's got 18 intelligence. He'd know what this means. But, or, you know, interpret it as the... Something has, you know, activated this thing to kill all the dragons because it's like they, they are the, they have a reign of terror and treachery and, you know, mortals use the, the dragons to wage war and shit, is my guess. So, then I hand it to Kenna. That's why it affects animals as well. Maybe they're just bad at magic and couldn't specify it. Had it go. <laughs> I highly doubt that whoever did this is just bad at magic. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, do you want this? It has some sort of funny feeling attached to it. <laughs> um, I I can't cast a tech. <laughs> just put it down next to the key there. The key. Um, I, d I do want to point out that, like, I I'm going to go ahead and say Kenna is definitely smart enough and Pierce might even pick up on it. Like, you're pretty sure just removing the letter cast the light on the key to make sure the key didn't get missed. <laughs> <laughs> but it likely probably wasn't, like, a, a saving throw, per se. <laughs> like, it was probably just the note connecting with a person, therefore the note activated the light on the key. 